Let's do this question. Lovely question. This this set was uh, properly tough. Uh, um, LRDA is, has been tough for a few, few few years now. Let's see this. All the first year students in computer science department in a university take both the courses AI and ML. Students from other departments, that is non-computer science students, can also take one of these two courses, but not both. All computer science students take both. Non-computer science students can take one or the other, but not both. Students who fall, who fail in a course get an F grade. Others pass and are awarded, awarded A, B or C grades, depending on their performance. Sounds about fair. The following are some additional facts about the number of students who took these two courses this year and the grades they obtained. Nice. The number of non-CS students who took AI and ML was in the ratio, were in the ratio, the numbers of non-CS students who took AI and ML were in the ratio 2 is to 5. Non-computer science students who took AI and ML, 2 is to 5. Nice. The number of non-CS students who took either AI or ML was equal to the number of CS students. Oh, nice. So if we call this 2x and 5x, then total is 7x. The number of non-CS students who took either AI or ML, that is 7x, was equal to the number of CS students. The computer thing students, 7x. All 7x have taken AI, all 7x of them have taken ML. 2x additionally here, 5x additionally here. I really like when the first two constraints get grabbed in the same variable. The numbers of non-CS students who failed in the two courses were the same. And their total is equal to the number of CS students who got a C grade in ML. Already we are going into territory which I can't hold in my head. Let's see. In both the courses, 50% of the students who passed got a B grade. 50% who passed got a B grade. Passed as in cleared, not F. But while the number of students who got A and C grades were the same for AI, they were in the ratio 3 is to 2 for ML. We'll have to, we'll have to wind our head around this. I'm not, I'm not getting it there. 50% who cleared got B. Others are in the ratio 3 is to 2. But this is overall, not specifically for CS or non-CS, for the course. No CS student failed in AI, just like, while no non-CS student got an A in AI. No CS student got an F in this. No non-CS student got an A in that. Nice. The numbers of CS students who got A, B and C grades respectively in AI were at the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 2. While in ML, the ratio was 4 is to 5 is to 2. Lovely. This I like. It was clear ratio given for A, B, C with one variable. We can grab that. One variable. We can grab this. And we are nice. The ratio of the total number of non-CS students failing in one of the two courses to the number of CS students failing in one of the two courses was 3 is to 1. Total number of non-CS students failing in one of the two courses to the number of CS students failing in one of the two courses was 3 is to 1. First of all, I think non-CS students, the numbers failing in both was equal, was the same. And there's no failure among CS students in AI. No CS student failed in AI. So this 3 is to 1 number is X and X, and this one should be completely in, uh, in ML, not, uh, not AI. 30 students failed, failed in ML, oh, lovely. We've got one, finally one number to deal with. I think this is a, a lots of variables that are going to be there. It's going to be an X and a Y and a Z and a K to start with. And slowly with every extra constraint, one variable will disappear. And finally, we'll stick in this 30 somewhere and get full numbers. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Let's capture the constraints. Total number of non-CS students who took A and ML were in the ratio 2 is to 5. So I'm going to call this as 2X, 5X. The number of non CS students who took either A or ML was equal to the number of CS students. This is 7x. All 7x take this, all 7x take this. The numbers of non-CS students who failed in the two courses were the same. Failed as F. This could be Y and Y. And their total is equal to the number of CS students who got a C grade in ML. This is Y and Y. This should be 2Y. C grade in ML. And let's capture some of these. Y, Y, 2Y. 2X, 5X, 7X. That means this should add up to 7X. This should add up to 7X. We've grabbed it in as few variables as possible. Let's build on. And we've completely used this. Completely used this. Completely used it. We don't need to come back to this. Right? So Y, Y, 2Y. Let's build on this. No CS student failed in AI. Well, no non-CS student got an A grade in AI. No CS student failed in AI. CS student failed in AI is zero. Well, no non-CS student got an A grade in AI. A grade, non-CS student, this is zero. 
the number of CS students who got A, B and C grades respectively in AI were in the ratio of 3 is to 5 is to 2. A, B, C in AI was 3 is to 5 is to 2. Let's say 3K, 5K, 2K. While in ML the ratio was 4 is to 5 is to 2. 4, 5, 2. Already Y is there, which is nice. 4Y, 5Y, 2Y. 3 plus 2 plus 5 is, is 10k, total is 10k, 10k should be equal to 7x. So I'm already sensing that this, this should be a multiple of 70, 7 and 10. 2y, 5y, 7y is 11y, but there's a number here that could play havoc somewhere, that could create some nonsense somewhere. Lovely. The ratio of total number of non-CS students failing in one of the two courses to the number of CS students failing in one of the two courses was 3 is to 1. CS students failing in one of the two courses, this is zero, only that number. Non-CS courses is y plus y, 2y. 2y is to this number is 3 is to 1. But this number is 2y by 3. Nice, lovely. This is y, that is 2y by 3. This is also y. 30 students failed in ML. This is super useful. Number of people failing in ML is this plus this. That is 30 students. Y plus 2y by 3. Y plus 2 by 3y is equal to 30. This 5y by 3 is equal to 30. 30 into 3 by 5, 30, 6 into 3, 18. Y is 18, which is super powerful. That means we can put this is 18. This is 18 into 2, 36. 18 into 5, 90. 18 into 4, 72. 18 into 2 by 3, 12. Bunch of those numbers get filled automatically. I add all of that up. I'll get 7x. 72 plus 90 plus 36. This is 108 plus 12, 120 plus 90, 210. This is 210. Total number is 210. This total number is 210. 7x is 210. X is 30. 30 into 2, 60. 30 into 5, 150. Bunch of these numbers we can fill in. This is 18, which means this is 18. Bunch of these numbers get filled in. Lovely. We filled all of these numbers. I think now we'll be attacking this. Lovely. Now we come here. This is 210. 3k plus 5k plus 2k is 10k. This is 0. 10k is 210 or k is 21. 21 into 3 is 63. 21 into 5 105. 21 into 2 42. So 42 plus 105 plus 63 is 210, which will come back to this 210. We have finished this, we have filled this. This is zero. If we, we know this, this ratio, 50% of the students who passed got a B grade, that should be able to unlock the remaining numbers for us. Right? In both courses, 50% of the students who passed got a B grade, who passed as in who cleared. Totally 210 students, let's say AI, zero failed here, 18 failed here. 210 took CS plus 60, 270. Of this 270, 18 failed. That means when I take about AI, total number of people who feared, cleared is 252. Okay. Half of that is 126. B grade should be 126. The B grade here is 105. The remaining should come here. This is makes this 21. Let's come to ML. ML has 210 plus 150. 360 students of which F grade is 30, A failed. 360 minus 30 is 330. This is 360 minus 30. This number is 270 minus 18. 330 by 2, B grade is 165. Nice. 105 goes here. This is AI 105. AI is 252, 126. This is ML. ML is 165 totally. 90 goes off there. That means the remaining is 75. This number should be 75. Nice. Let's look at this. The, but while the number of students who got A and C grades were the same for AI. AI, it was same. This is 63 totally. This is 42. This one should be 21. A is 63, C should also be 63, 42 here, 21 here, done. They were in the ratio 3 is to 2 for ML, 3 is to 2 for ML, 
uh, the total A to total C was 3 is to 2. Let's see. Out of 330, 165 goes off. Remaining is 165. A plus C is 165. 165 pi 5 is 33. So A should be 99. C should be 66. A, 72 are here. Remaining should be 27 here. C, 36 should be there. Remaining 30 should be here. You can add and reconcile all of this. 18 plus 27 is 45. 45 plus 75, 120 plus 30, 150. This works. 21, 21, 42, 18, 60. This works. 63 plus 42, 105, 105, 210. This works. 84, 120, 90. That is fine. Super. We've completed the whole grid. This is 21. This is 99, 66. Completely filled. Now you just got to answer these questions. How many students took AI? How many students took AI? 60 plus 210, 270. Nice. How many CS students failed in ML? CS failed in ML, 12. How many non-CS students got A grade in ML? Non-CS, ML, A grade, 27. How many students got A grade in AI? A grade in AI, AI, this is zero. It's just this number. 63. How many non CS students, that is this, got B grade in ML? Non CS ML B grade 75. It should be this. Super challenging set. I had a tough, tough time cracking this. I kind of fell apart. I made some calculation mistake. Mistake I got through this down as 18. Everything went haywire. I had to rejig it and then took some random guesses. A couple of them fell in place, but really tough set. Lots of lots of calculation. You've got to be very careful. Laying out like this is most important. Let's go to the next one.